What is going on everybody? So in today's video we have another hauls uh, episode. Um, a few of these are going to be open because I tried to film this episode and then I realized I left my address in all the boxes. So you're going to actually notice that some of these are already open. That is why. Um, but we have, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five whole packages to open up for you guys. Um, so we'll start out with the, uh, the top one here. I'm going to move all these boxes off out of the way for you and then we'll break them down one by one. way real quick I actually start out with this the big one right here just because that's um, it's what's what's already open it's right here um, this box actually already had stuff in it that wasn't just wrestling figures so I cracked it open got the other items that weren't wrestling out and just left, left the one wrestling related item in there so first off we got this on Prime Day this was the Triple H Attitude Era Best of Attitude Era figure um, solid job with the face scan, I think. Um, they definitely killed it as far as matching the facial features and how his face looked when he was younger with the new True Effects. So I always thought that was cool just to see the True Effects on an older figure. Same with like with Macho Man, people who have passed. Um, seeing that facial tech on older figures is always cool to me. So that's going to be item number one there. Let's just set this out of the way. Get you in there. Number two, move H down there. This was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Um, I saw it on there, it wasn't a bad price. I've seen it going up in value recently, so I figured, hey, might as well grab it while I see it. Um, but it is a Series 16 CM Punk that we will be keeping mock. Um, that's the one pro quo is this, it got bent up up here, but everything else on this box is pretty solid um, otherwise. So we will be keeping this baby mint on card. I mean, as mint as you can consider it, but um, I think for what it is, it's definitely a solid figure. I, I would have loved to have seen how Mattel would have killed it with the facial, the uh, the true effects on Punk's face. Is like you're just looking at this photo and, and the figure. It's you know you can definitely tell how far Mattel has come. But it would have been awesome to see Mattel eventually break out a Punk like this. I mean. Unfortunately, he probably never will, but you know, would have been a good thought. So, we'll put him over here. Let's knock this box out of the way. All right, next up, another one, same idea. We had the address in there, so I ripped it out. Um, it is open. It did come bubble wrap, so don't get, you know, too surprised you see it, you're like, oh, he turned it like that. No, he didn't. It was, um, it wasn't in bubble wrap and everything. But I've been trying to collect more of the defining moments, and you're gonna understand that pretty soon, pretty quickly, um, in the next couple of boxes. But um, I saw this Hulk, and I figured it's gonna be probably going up in price. It already has been. Not like he's back with the company, but I always thought it was a solid figure. Um, the arms, you know, definitely Hulk was a bigger guy when he was still wrestling, so I always felt like they definitely matched up the uh, the pythons, quote unquote to uh, definitely match him up pretty well. But get him all posable. His joints were actually pretty good, very clean. He was only displayed, so he was never used or played with it also. Very clean, came with all the accessories, had to add it to the collection. I'm gonna set him up here, just because that's where he was before I started filming. And then the two other boxes here, before it's open, we'll get the, uh, the knife out real quick. So these ones, we're not Prime Day, but I saw them on Amazon, and they were pretty cheap comparatively to what they were when they first came out. So, figured I'd grab them now while I could. Uh, made sense out of the collection, you know. I feel like the defining moments, they get so cheap to a point where they're too cheap, and then people end up realizing, oh hey, this actually was a good figure. Um, and they end up getting it you know, later than they have to, and you're, and you're paying more uh, money-wise for them, so I figured I'd get this now while well, it was still in a fairly decent price, but um, yeah, it is the John Cena Defining Moments. Um, I wish, you know, especially the Defining Moments price, I didn't pay full price for this, this was, um, instead of being the uh, full retail, this was only 12 with free shipping, so $12 was not bad for what you're getting with this figure. I do wish, you know, we had a, a cloth shirt, but with all the other accessories and the detail on this figure, you can't really go too too wrong with it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much about that shirt, but this is an iconic Cena. 
I'm going to try to use this as a custom uh, custom base to make the new uh, Mania Skina with that um, new, I believe it's Elite 71 or 72 with the new, uh, new hair sculpt. Try to get that with the new head and try to see if we can make last year's Mania Cena and see how that comes out. That's what I got this primarily for. Uh, so we'll set this down. I believe they got enough room to where we can just get these all over here. And then lastly, smaller box, but you know, again, it does the job. So same idea with this one. Saw it fairly cheap. Um, you know, definitely was. I've been waiting to get this, and I've seen it cheaper, and then I kind of waited too too long, I guess. So I I start starting to go back up. So I figured, you know what, I might as well get it now, because with the luck I've had recently, it'll probably go up, and it'll be pretty stupid for me to get it at that point, having seen it for so much cheaper. Alright, so same idea, sticking on the whole uh, defining moments we got going on here. But, was the Chris Jericho defining moments figure. Now, like I said, this was the um, same idea as the Cena. I saw these both starting to go back up in price. Figured, grab it now. Solid figure. One of my favorite moments, I remember watching this live when I was growing up. Um, but just the fact that we finally got a figure with this much detail for for Jericho with the with the hair, you got both the belts, which is a solid deal for what you're getting, um, and probably one of my favorite Jericho moments. Um, so it, just to have this in figure form is absolutely awesome. So that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, if you want to see any uh, reviews or unboxings, this one will definitely be staying mint. Um, but if you want to see any unboxings or reviews on the other guys, I you know feel free to comment, and let me know. Um, I'm starting to film some more some more stuff for you too, so give it a, you know give it a like. Let's uh, see what we can do with this one. I'm trying to hopefully get about 10, 15 likes on this baby, but you know we'll see. Um, you guys have been definitely pretty supportive, so I can you know definitely appreciate that. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.